Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking into something that's been creating a lot of buzz lately. The Pure Play Quantum Computing Stock Ion Q Inc. Ticker Ion Q. You've probably seen headlines like 1,200% gain in three years and thought, wait, is it too late to get in now? Or is there still runway left? That's the question we're going to explore together. We'll walk through what Ion Q is how it stacks up in the quantum computing race, what the recent numbers show, what the big strategic moves are, and most importantly, what the risks and opportunities look like. No hype, no telling you to buy or sell, just honest commentary so you can decide for yourself. Before we dive in, please take a second to hit the like button, share it with your friends, and also subscribe. Please help this video to get at least 500 likes, it really helps to support the channel and keeps us bringing you the latest market insight. Thank you. Before we get into IonQ's story, let's zoom out for a second and understand the backdrop. Why all the excitement about quantum computing anyway? Quantum computers work with qubits, which can be zero, one, or both simultaneously, superposition, and can be entangled. That means, in principle, quantum machines can explore many possibilities at once, and solve certain problems much faster. The promise. Things that are essentially impossible or highly inefficient with current computers, think complex chemical simulations, optimization tasks in logistics, cryptography, maybe drug discovery, could become feasible. The catch, we're still early. Error rates are high. Coherence time short. Lots of engineering and systems integration work remains. So it's a long horizon technology. And this is exactly where Ion Q comes in. As one of the public dedicated players in quantum computing, not just a big tech company doing quantum on the side. That makes it interesting from an investor and observer perspective. Let's talk about Ion Q itself. Founded in 2015 by physicists and quantum specialists, Christopher Munro, Jung Sang Kim, out of the University of, of Maryland. Unlike many quantum efforts that use superconducting qubits cooled near absolute zero, ion Q uses trapped ion qubits. That means ions, charged atoms, are held in electromagnetic traps, manipulated with lasers, etc. What is the significance of trapped ions? The company claims higher fidelity operations, that is, lower error rates, and better all-to-all -all connectivity. Every qubit can interact with every other qubit. That could be a big advantage as systems scale. They speak of being the NVIDIA of quantum, that is, hardware plus software plus full ecosystem, building toward a full stack of quantum computing services, not just selling qubits or chips. So, in the crowded quantum field, IonQ stakes a claim on a differentiated architecture, trapped ions, and a growth-oriented roadmap. That sets the stage. IonQ currently sells quantum hardware and networking products plus associated services. They also provide access to their quantum hardware via major cloud platforms. For example, Microsoft Corporation's Azure Quantum, Amazon.com, Inc. Web Services, AWS, Alphabet Inc., Google Cloud. Platforms that let customers run quantum workloads on IonQ's machines. IonQ advises customers on how quantum computing may be used in their business, an early stage services play. IonQ's longer term goal is to sell complete quantum computing systems to enterprises or to be the platform provider, but that is still a work in progress. Because quantum computing is nascent, much of IonQ's business is investment heavy, R&D, scaling qubits, improving error rates, building ecosystem, strategic acquisitions. What does that mean today? It means revenue is growing from a very small base, but profitability is not yet in sight and risk is real. Now let's dig into the numbers because yes, you might be asking with a 1,200% gain in the stock over three years, what's under the hood? For 2024, IonQ reported revenue of about $43.1 million which was a 95% increase from the previous year. In Q2 2025, they recognized revenue of $20.7 million, 
beating guidance by 15%. In full year 2024, net loss was $331.6 million. For Q2 2025, net loss was $177.5 million. Adjusted EBI TDA for Q2 2025, they had loss of $36.5 million. At end of 2024, they reported $363.8 million. On the bright side, they recently raised equity to expand their cash runway. Reports show 1.6 billion pro forma cash after mid-2025 offering. Rapid revenue growth is a positive sign. The business is scaling, albeit from a small base. But the losses are large and growing. This is typical for deep tech and frontier technology companies. You invest heavily now, hope for scaling later. From an investor lens, this is a risk-heavy growth-first profile. It's not a mature business. Timing matters. If you believe the quantum computing landscape will bear commercial results within years, you might see upside. If you prefer near-term profits and stability, this might be uncomfortable. If you're enjoying these market insights and finding them helpful, please take a moment to like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you. Let's look at some of the strategic moves IonQ has made lately. This gives us a sense of whether they are executing or just talking. Acquisition of Oxford Ionics UK in September 2025. This acquisition brings additional IP, talent and a UK presence. IonQ recently announced a technological milestone, converting visible wavelength photons, used in their trapped ion systems, into telecom wavelengths, so quantum systems can link over fiber and networking, a key step toward quantum networking. IonQ announced the signing of a Memorandum of Understanding with Kisti to accelerate South Korea's role in the global quantum race, collaborating in four key areas. Advanced infrastructure access, education, talent and knowledge exchange, and efforts to expand the quantum ecosystem. IonQ announced that it secured a landmark 22 million deal with utility leader EPB to create America's first commercial quantum hub demonstrating significant commercial traction and strategic expansion into the critical energy infrastructure market. IonQ announced an updated revenue guidance, full year 2025 outlook raised to 82 million to 100 million from earlier. But, we still need to ask, will these moves translate into sizable commercial revenue? How fast will that happen? That's the big open question. Time to talk about the other side of the coin competition and risks. Because quantum computing is super early and many variables could go wrong. IonQ is not alone. Other firms include IBM Corporation, Google LLC, Microsoft Corporation, as well as smaller pure plays. Some of those use different architectures, superconducting qubits, photonic qubits. They may gain advantages in speed, scale or cost. The trapped ion approach with claims of higher fidelity and connectivity. That may give them a technological edge, if they can scale it cost-effectively. It's still uncertain which architecture will win, or if multiple will coexist. Trapped ion has many advantages, but also questions, for example, speed, size, integration. Even with all the progress, turning quantum hardware into a large-scale, profitable business is a multi-year journey. Since IonQ is burning cash and investing heavily, shareholders may face dilution if more capital is needed. Market risk. Quantum hype is high. Valuations may reflect expectations rather than current fundamentals. If expectations get ahead of reality, there could be a sharp reset. Execution risk. Scaling qubits, reducing error rates, delivering reliable commercial services. Each step is non-trivial. While IonQ has promise, it's not a safe bet by any stretch and the upside is tied to many ifs. Now the big question you came for, after big gains 1,200% in three years, is it too late to invest in IonQ? Let's unpack. Why you might think yes, too late. The stock has already rallied significantly, reflecting high expectations. Much of the easy upside might be priced in, you might need big wins to move the needle. 
The risks we just discussed are real and could delay or derail the path to commercialization. Why you might say no, it's not too late for some investors. If you believe quantum computing will become a massive industry, multi-hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars, over the next decade, then being in an early leader could still pay off. IonKey's current revenue growth, strategic partnerships and technical milestones are real, not just promises. The company's long-term roadmap, for example working toward 800 logical qubits by 2027, 80,000 by 2030, has been put out there. If you are a growth-oriented, risk-tolerant investor who's comfortable with maybe 5-10 years until big payoff, this might still fit. Here is my take. If I were doing a voiceover for this, I'd say, IonQ is a compelling high-risk, high-potential story. It's far from guaranteed, and you're not buying a cash flow machine. You're buying a bet that quantum computing goes mainstream and that IonQ stays a leading player. If you already missed the early move, that's fine. But if you're entering now, you should only do so with full awareness of the long horizon and the risk of bumps along the road. In other words, for cautious investors looking for stability and near-term returns, IonQ might be too speculative. For investors comfortable with a long timeline and with conviction in Quantum's future, this could still be part of the play. Before we wrap up, let's summarize the key takeaways. IonQ stands out in the quantum computing field thanks to its trapped ion architecture and full-stack ambition. Revenue is growing solidly, though from a small base, but profitability is still a long way off. Strategic moves Acquisitions, technical milestones, partnerships are positive signals of momentum. The risks are real, technology still nascent, competition fierce, commercialization timeline uncertain, cash burn strong. Whether it's too late depends on your timeline and risk appetite. If you're in for the long haul and comfortable with uncertainty, there may still be upside. If you want near-term returns or lower risk, the opportunity may feel less attractive now. Disclaimer, this video is for informational and educational purposes only. It is not financial advice, and I am not a financial advisor. Always do your own research before making investment decisions. Especially emerging technologies like quantum computing carries risk, including loss of principle. All right, thanks for hanging in until the end. If you found this breakdown of IonQ helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss future deep dives like this. What do you think? Is quantum computing the next big leap, and will IonQ be a leader, or is it too early to call? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear your take. I'll see you in the next one. Until then. Stay curious, stay critical, and run your own research.